welcome language learners from all around the globe to Listen Up, the podcast that takes you on a captivating voyage through the English language. Whether you've just started your journey or have been navigating the intricacies of English for some time, this podcast is designed to be your trusty compass, guiding you towards fluency and unlocking the wonders of English. I'm your host, Karen, a passionate traveller and an experienced teacher of English as a second language. Join me as we embark on an exciting expedition filled with British history read by a native speaker. Together, we'll conquer the challenges and celebrate the victories of learning English as a foreign language. Each episode of Listen Up will immerse you in a variety of topics from aspects of British culture, history and literature. We'll explore useful vocabulary that will empower you to communicate confidently in English. If you want to read along with the podcast, head to my website www.onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. But this podcast isn't just about learning English in isolation. It's about building a community of language learners, supporting one another and fostering a love of the English language. I encourage you to engage with us through my Patreon page where you can connect with fellow learners, ask questions and share your own language journey. So whether you're sipping tea in Tokyo, walking the streets in Sao Paulo or studying in a bustling cafe in Berlin, Listen Up is here to accompany you on your quest for English fluency. Join me as we embark on this transformative expedition where language becomes an adventure and your dreams of effective communication become a reality. Today's episode is called Baked Boat Race. Hey everyone, if you thought you'd seen everything, get ready for something new and exciting in British sports. It's called the Yorkshire Pudding Boat Race. It's a bit messy, but loads of fun. This race takes place in a lovely village in North Yorkshire called Brawby. It's not your typical boat race. It's more like an adventure. The idea came to Simon Thackeray one sunny day in the 1990s when he was looking out of his pub's window. He saw waitresses carrying plates of roast beef and Yorkshire puddings. While looking at these fluffy Yorkshire puddings, He thought about making boats out of them and sailing down the river, just like a story from a fairy tale. In this race, people don't use regular boats. They use boats made entirely from Yorkshire puddings. In case you're wondering, Yorkshire pudding is a traditional English dish made from a mixture of eggs, flour and milk. Usually it's baked and served with a roast dinner. But in the Yorkshire pudding boat race, these puddings turn into boats. The race rules are simple. Participants have to make their pudding boats and race on the water. It's a tricky challenge because they have to deal with gravity and navigate through the river. People paddle, splash and steer their pudding boats through a course. The best part is the boat designs. Some look like Viking longships, others like pirate ships. There are even whimsical floating castles. It's a mix of creative cooking and nautical adventure. Just like in other sports events, there are lots of people watching and cheering. Families and friends gather along the riverbanks with cameras to capture the fun moments especially when some pudding boats start to fall apart. While it's all about having a good time, there's also a bit of competition and a few spills are expected. But here's why it's truly heartwarming. The Yorkshire Pudding Boat Race isn't just for fun. It's also to help local charities. 
Over the years, it has raised a lot of money to support good causes. Imagine watching the competitors navigating their pudding boats around bends, avoiding obstacles, and maybe even sharing stories about the tricky tides and currents they face. It's all part of the excitement, and it's a great feeling when they reach the finish line with their pudding boats still intact. So if you ever find yourself in North Yorkshire and see a crowd by the river with fluffy pudding boats, you're not dreaming. You've discovered the Yorkshire Pudding Boat Race, a truly British mix of delicious food, creative competition and charity. It's a race where you get to enjoy pudding and be part of a fun adventure. And that wraps up another episode of Listen Up. I hope you enjoyed learning about my topic today and practicing your English. Remember, the exploration doesn't have to end here. If you have any lingering questions or want to continue the conversation, I've got some great opportunities for you. First off, I offer private lessons for those of you eager to expand your knowledge further, whether it's practicing today's subject or exploring other topics. I'm here to guide you on your English journey. Reach out to me through my website or social media platforms and let's embark on a personalized learning experience together. I have been involved with training people for more than 10 years. I've been teaching English as a second language for over a year, in which time I have taught over 500 students, many of whom are regulars. But wait, there's more. If you're a devoted fan of Listen Up and want to show your support, consider joining our Patreon community. Your contribution directly helps us bring you more episodes and maintain the quality of our show. Your support truly means the world to me and we couldn't continue this podcast without you. So whether you choose private lessons or Patreon or both, I look forward to staying connected and exploring the fascinating realms of English as a second language together. Thank you once again for joining us on Listen Up. Until next time, keep practicing. Thank you.